Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video and this is another one for my September blog post over on the Hey Little Magpie blog. So I am using the Jen Hadfield homemade uh, warm and cozy collection. It's a it's a lovely autumnal collection um, and I'm going to be scrapping two pictures from my American trip from last year. Um, I have before doing starting this video, um, I have stitched on my layout, um, trying to be a little bit trendy. Um, and I've seen loads of people stitching on layouts and decided I wanted to give it a go. So um, I have stitched on this one, which you'll see in a minute. So as you'll see here, I have stitched the outline of California. And I really like how this came out on, of course, the wood grain because I love wood grain. Um, I'm thinking that I might do this for the other states that we visited because we visited Nevada and Arizona, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I like the idea of that. Um, and I used um, kind of golden orange thread which would match with this collection. So I've cut this layout down because I'm going to mount it up on just a piece of paper from the DIY collection that I had in my stash um, and I'm going to also fussy cut these flowers out that camera is from a old Maggie Holmes collection I think an old crate collection um, and I'm going to be using um, that wood pile heart as well which um, again is from one of the cut apart sheets for this collection so I've added some mist to the background just some gold and I think my one that's called Rain Beetle. I'm going to be using some walnut stain ink to just add some inking around the edges of some of my layers. Um, I do want to overlap a little bit onto that stitching, um, but not too, too much. Um, and I found that quite difficult, actually. Um, the way I normally make my layouts is kind of quite ad hoc. I don't <laughs> kind of think too, too much about it. Um, and when doing this stitching beforehand... Um, yeah, it made <laughs> it made it a little bit difficult because um, I had to kind of plan and kind of know what photo size. Um, I am trying to use my Cameo more. I was challenged to use it more, so um, I did use my Cameo um, to make this outline, and I'm really happy with how that worked out. So I'm using some of the um, die cuts from this um, pack, which again is the Ephemera pack. Um, there's also some washi tape which I'm going to be using as well and these are great because they're kind of all um, sort of embossed metallic ones so they're great they just add a little bit of interest. I'm using another one a piece from the die cut pack that says family um, and that's just gonna add a little bit to that bottom cluster. Um, like I said I don't mind overlapping a little bit over that design because it's just going to bring connect that stitch design to the photos. Um, sorry guys, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I think my microphone had a weirdo. I noticed that some of the audio in my videos has been a little bit up and down, so I apologise for that. I think I might have to get a new mic. Um, so as I was saying, I'm going to be popping um, one of those bits up on some 3D foam just to give a little bit of dimension and then I'm going to just build my cluster over that spare space within the photo there because there's only a little bit of sky it's not too much and these are just a picture of my boyfriend with his mum and his mum's partner and um, they were just some pictures that we took up on the Pacific Highway no not Pacific, Panoramic Highway <laughs> um, so I've nearly finished that part of my album so that's quite good. I've got a couple more pictures I want to do, and that's all done. And that's kind of where we took a lot of selfies as well. I think it was our second day, first day, first day when we'd got there. So we'd had a day of travelling, and then this is our first day there. So we're all a little bit photo happy. Um, I'm taking some sequins, and this is from a Coco Vanilla um, embellishment pack, and they are kind of like a peachy. Um, iridescent so I'm just going to add a few of those around just spatter them around I've also got that you know metallic mist in the background and it's just going to add a little bit of um, blingy detail so I now pulled out my letter stash my smaller letter stash and I'm looking for a smaller alpha um, 
And I decided to go with these Tim Holtz ones. I've had these in my stash for quite a while. Um, and I don't want a, la a really big title because I don't want to cover up um, any more of that stitching. And I've got that black family down there in the bottom. So I'm just going to be using these to put my title, which is Travel Buddies. And I'm just going to put that within that main cluster um, as well. So again, I don't want a massive title. Um, sorry you're seeing my rather crazy hair over there. Um, as I said, I put a little bit of wet glue down because they're not the stickiest letters in the world. So I'm just going to fiddle around just trying to add them into that cluster so they're not kind of sticking out too, too much. I'm really happy with how that looks. I also found this Tim Holtz Ideology like phrase stickers as well in my stash and I've had that in my stash for probably about two years, three years. Um, so um, I'm going to pick some of those out as well. And I also pull the date off there and put 2015 at the bottom as well because I am trying to put the date on a lot of these layouts. So I'm finding some of these and I'm just sticking, I think they say like adventure and things like that. Um, so yes, yeah, just going through, and these are in craft and white, so I'm choosing the craft ones um, on here. Um, and really, I don't add too, too much more to this. I add a couple of sequins just to balance things out. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. So I really like the stitching technique. I've done about four layouts now with stitching on, just because I kind of got in that vibe. Um, and I really liked how they're coming up, so I'm definitely going to do this in this album again. So I'm just adding my date stamp on, and mounting this layout and calling it a day. So I want to thank you very much all guys for watching this video um, and all for your likes and comments. Um, do go over and check out the blog, I'll put the link down below. And you can see um, photos of, of this as well as um, the other layouts I made. Um, so thank you very much guys and I'll speak to you all again very very soon. Bye!